emotional roller coaster, and maybe we just ran out of gas at the second half. Are we ready, Michael, or no? Yep. Can you be sure. an statement, Coach, please? Good to go. You know, maybe we just ran out of gas a little in the second half. Um, but I wasn't worried about the three-pointers as much as I was stopping the drive, and they started driving on it. And I've seen Monmouth play a lot, and I've seen that happen before. you got to get down and stop the drive. And when it came time to it, we just couldn't quite get in there. And Javion, I'm not pointing fingers, but Javion and, and Marquise certainly held up their end of the bargain. The rest I have to watch the tape for. But you're not going to beat the premier team in the league. I mean, I know people talked about Monmouth last year. I think they deserve an at-large bid this year, and I'm going to go on record as saying that. I mean, they, they've won a ton in a row. You look at the schedule they played. By the way, they beat South Carolina. I mean, and then lost on a last-second shot, and then beat, I think that was a half-court heave, wasn't it? Javion, you watch more basketball. I didn't see that one. Yeah. I think, it was, I think they sh they lost, and then they beat Memphis. So that's like a real th – that team, whether, whatever they do in the tournament, and I'm looking forward to playing them again on ESPN too. They just – you know, Robinson's the real deal. You know, he's the real deal. And we got to have a – we have to have five or six guys clicking on all cylinders tonight. And I think we came up a little short, so no excuses. I just – I was worried about our emotion, but we had a great halftime and came out and said, let's dig deep. And we had a couple good defensive stances and then – Couple turnovers. You just you can't let the thing widen against them because then they spread you out. And then Robinson, that was you know, that was up there. I, I guess another AJ English performance and Robinson performance. And but Marquise Wright answered him. That was an unbelievable performance. Thank you. Congratulations, Marquise. We'll take any questions. I mean, you saw Justin obviously score 36 here last year. Did you think he was capable of surpassing that performance? Yes. I mean, you were practice. Did we not go over that? I'm asking you. Were we clear? We only put one guy's number up. At all times, you have to find Robinson. I'm not being cynical. You have to find – you can't – but, you know, as a coaching mistake, because the first three he took, we weren't on him. So I guess that wasn't clear enough. The first three he took, we weren't on him, and then that's going to get a guy like that going. You know, I've just seen too many good players at that size. And, you know, he's from up here. This is a big game for him. He wants to come in, but – but we were, we were right there in the end of the half, and we made some great plays. Second half, couple balls bouncing off us. But, you know, I, just, I have to watch the tape before I make something. But, yes, I, I, I'm aware of how good he is. I voted him preseason player of the year. I voted him all team. I just – I said it before about A.J. English, and I've been wrong, but I, I just think that guy can play in the NBA because he rises up. And he, you know what is funny? He'll distribute, and it's not all about him. He seems to do a lot of the little things, but – you know, at halftime, I was thought we're going to win the game. And we came out and, you know, got the lead and everything. And then we just couldn't stop the drive. We couldn't stop. It was the drive and the and ones that we have to work on. We have to stop the drive. And we didn't. And, we, and you were in practice yesterday. Did we go over that? Is that fair? You, you joked after the after the Maris game that you didn't think. I was joking I know around. you were joking. But I mean, how, how Are you going to write that in your article? Because you didn't write an article last game. So. No, there, there was an article that was the lead. I bought the it. paper and didn't see it. Very early deadline, but either way. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, no, yeah. we were joking around. We fully thought we could win this game. Yeah. Well, that was a John, I said this as a John Thompson joke. We can never win the next game we're playing. That was a little ploy. Of course we thought we could win the game. Go ahead. Um, You said that you had to stop the drives and the end ones. It seemed like in a game, like when you guys were coming back and when you were taking the lead and going back and forth, you were kind of controlling the inside. And then – all of a sudden, something went wrong. Was it? Was it? That's why I got to watch the tape. Well, you know, I'm not pointing fingers, but we, we had a couple of miss. We had a turnover. In other words, you got to keep. They're like North Carolina. You have to because he's played at Carolina. You got to keep scoring with them. And they just kind of all of a sudden we like missed a couple of free throws. We had a turnover. We missed a layup, and that's okay. And then they converted, but you have to stop them from getting layups and end ones. I wanted to see if someone else. I know he's going to make his threes, but the rest of them, you know. I wanted to see somebody else take a couple of threes, but they had a couple of big drives on us, including Colin Stewart's drives. But at some point, you just have to keep them like six feet away and then make. I got to see why we didn't score. We're, we're, you know, they had an extra day's rest. No excuses there. We were coming off an emotional high of Iona and then an emotional high of Maris. But we had a very good practice yesterday. And, and I'm, you know, practices was open yesterday. We were very focused and serious, and we thought we could win the game. And it was tied at halftime. I mean, and then we came out, and the first four minutes was ours. But I got to watch the tape to see. I remember it being like 60 61. The next thing I know, I saw 68 60. And then we were in a little bit of trouble there, you know. So, but, you know, we, we, we need a couple more guys to step up. Do you have any questions for Javion? You guys have uh, picked up big win big road wins in uh, Iona and Maris. Uh, why can't you guys put it together at home? That's it's a just good a question. common trend. That's a good question. We've also played good teams. Good question. I've told you before, when I was the opposing coach, this was by far my favorite place to play. This was circled. 
I knew it was going to be on TV. They have great crowds here. It's in a pro arena. The lighting's good. The floor is cool. The locker rooms are big. I'm not the only one that circles this game. On the other hand, Mama's a really good team. I own a really good team. You know, Canisius is a senior laden team that played really well on us. But I was proud that we came out ready to play. I just, I, I got to go over why we gave up a wide open. You know, they came in hot, but we, we, we played Marist and they got hot against us. So maybe it's our defense, but they were ready to play too. I knew they'd be ready to play. That's a good question. We have to find a way to close out wins at home. We've, we've, We've still got a winning record here at home this year, but like today was just, we got to be ready for Thursday. There's no, we're not going to go crazy. We're just going to take a day off, go to school, and we got to be ready Thursday. Marquis, uh, career high for you. Can you explain the emotional roller coaster that this game seemed to be? Um, Just not getting to play them twice last year. Yeah, that's right. Kind of just a mindset thing. Like, I just, I, I wanted to win the game. And I guess just coming in with intensity from the beginning. Um, I mean, I get I got to do that every time. This question, um, Coach, um, you were talking about you got to look at the tape. Yeah, I got to look it, at the tape. It, it seems like when when Marquis, especially even the last game, with um, the last home game, when Wright gets hot and they see it coming, teams try to like shut him <coughs> down. Sure. And it seems like they're daring you to find other players to, to, to win. Is that a, a major concern going down? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you know, you know, Clareth was due to fall back to earth a little bit. It has nothing to do. He he tried out there. Shivers has been playing out of his mind. He picked up some fouls and was frustrated. But, you know, LeVon and Brett have to play better if we're going to beat Monmouth. I'll deal with it. They're not doing it on purpose. They're great kids. There's nothing wrong. They've been playing great. That's two games in a row they didn't play so well. We're not going to beat Monmouth, a team that I think should have a legitimate NCAA bid whether they win our league or not. And I'm saying that not just from my heart, but from my basketball mind. I watched Northwestern yesterday play. Who's going to get an at-large bid probably for the first time they beat Wisconsin. Like, Monmouth is as good as them. Wisconsin might be him. And, and that, that Chris Collins is my friend. I watch a lot of basketball. I watch the selection show. We, we, we're, we, we're in, I'm a fan of basketball. That being said, that team deserves to be in. They're exciting, but they score. They got a big guy. They spread jet. Hornbuck can play. Smike is they, They're really good. You have to have everybody show up to play. I got to go watch the tape and say, did we drop a ball here? Was that turnover his fault or not the other guy's fault? It's my, I told you, I'll take the blame for the losses. These guys, though, they're, 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 they're busting their humps. But I'm really proud of the first half and the first one. But when it was 61-60 to 68-60 to them, a couple of missed shots and then them just driving it, I don't like and ones. I would prefer to Kevin McHale to Kurt Rambis foul where you help him up, but you can't let him get the and one. In other words, you got to make him earn it from the free throw line. They had like four and ones. That's not good enough. So back to the drawing board. Marquise, after kind of the, the early flurry there that you had there in the second half, um, it just seemed like there were several minutes where you didn't get another shot. Did they do anything different against you, or were you looking to set up guys up more during that span, or could you kind of just tell us what happened during that stretch? Um, I mean, we just try to get other people going, um, try to look at the mismatches. Um, I think Justin Robertson was on Brett or LeVon at some, t some point of the game, and we just tried to post them up. So, I mean, just different looks. Javion, can you kind of describe the emotion as you sit here? Obviously, ended the first half so well, second half started really well, and then Robinson kind of happened. Can you just kind of describe to us what you were feeling here, hoping obviously you'll see them in this building again in March? Um, you know, obviously it's frustrating to come out here and lose at home. Uh, the thing I keep looking at is we gave up 102 points. And if we want to win the MAC championship, we can't allow that to happen. And that's the most frustrating thing. Javon, did you and Marquise have to get more help from your teammates tonight? Uh, they just they just weren't clicking tonight. Um, you know, hopefully they can get it going the next couple games. But it was just our defense tonight. Anytime you go up 100 points, most likely you're not going to win. That's it. The locker room will be open, as promised. <laughs>